Boom, boom, guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, this video is going to be a video on push notifications, guys. A lot of people have been uh, requesting me to do a video on push notifications using Flutter along with Firebase. Uh, so yeah, I decided to do that today. And in this video, we'll just be covering the very basics of uh, sending messages and then receiving them as notifications in your mobile device, right? And uh, I'll also make a sequel to this video wherein I show how to send automated push notifications. So in this video, we'll be covering the first part. That is how to uh, send a message from Firebase console and then receive it on your mobile device as a noti push notification. Push notification is nothing but a notification that gets pushed down to your device when your app is not in the foreground, right? When your app is in the foreground, it can just be uh, pushed onto your application and then you can uh, just view the real-time change. But when your application is closed or when your application is running in the background, you would need a notification to indicate that a, a change has occurred or a new message has been received or something like that, right? That's when a notification is being pushed onto your application, I mean, on your mobile device. So let's see how to uh, use the Firebase cloud messaging feature to send such notifications to your mobile device. First of all, I have created a, sorry, this is my recorder. I have created a application here, just scaffolded, to, uh, scaffolded out a new application here. Uh, get into Android, get into app, uh, get into source, Android manifest.xml. And there is a package name here, right? Just copy this and uh, add a new application in your Firebase project, Android. Paste it here. And you need to get this debug signing certificate SHA1 as well. This, to get this, just uh, wait, I'll show you. I already got that, but I'll show you once. You just need to copy this entire thing. I'm using a Linux machine, so I'll just copy this entire thing and then you just need to uh, paste it in a terminal and then hit enter. That's it. Say for instance, wait. I'll even show you that. I just opened up a terminal and I'll just paste it here, hit enter. See, it gave me a SHA1 string, right? I'll just copy this. Sorry. And uh, fine. Now uh, just click on register app. Then download this Google services.json file. Sorry. Once the file is downloaded, you need to place that in your app directory. Fine, I have placed it in my app directory, right? Now once again, get back into the code. And as you can see here, you can see the Google services.json file here. Uh, get into this build.gradle. The build.gradle present inside the app directory. Get into that. And then I have a application on my GitHub profile, Flutter Firebase Starter, right? Get into Android directory of that application. Get into app directory of that application. Get into build.gradle. And there will be something called multi-text enabled true. Just copy this, copy this one line and add it here as well. These are some basic configurations that you need to do uh, for configuring uh, Firebase along with your Flutter application. I already covered this in uh, another video, but uh, just to, you know, for those who are watching this video, I mean, a video on my channel for the first time, I would like to uh, cover this as well. So I'll just copy this paste this here as well. So I have pasted two lines, multi-dex enabled true and uh, apply plugin. I save this file. Now there is a build.gradle outside of this app directory, right? Click on that. This will be another file. Just, uh, sorry, just get back here, get back and uh, open this build.gradle. There is a line here, right? Class path called dependencies under dependencies. Copy this and uh, paste it here fine uh, now oh sorry I didn't. okay fine now copy this thing sub project something this will paste it here uh, this will resolve any conflicts uh, if there is a version mismatch anyway uh, uh, do this okay just save this 
now we have done uh, modifications in two build gradle files and then added a uh, google services.json file here right that's it that's it we need to do get back to pubspec.yaml and under dependencies we need to add a uh, flutter firebase messaging firebase messaging plugin we'll be using this plugin firebase messaging fine save this this will get us the plugin for that and then get into main.dart and uh, inside the okay inside this init state uh, main and inside this uh, simply uh, super dot init state We need to import the plugin as well. Import um, Flutter. What was it? Firebase messaging, right? Firebase messaging dot dot. Fine. Now we can use this uh, to send messages. First, to receive a notification on a device, we need to get that token, the token of that particular device, right? So I'll write some code for that. Messaging dot get token dot then this will return the token. We'll have a function run token. This alone is enough. The token alone is enough to receive a message on your device. Okay, so uh, uh, there are several other options as well, but for now, let's just stick with the basics. I'll run this app on my device now. All right, I have run the app on the device and you get a nice token here, right? Let's just copy this token. This is what we'll be using to send a notification from the console to this device. So I'll just copy this and then I'll start recording the screen on my device as well now. All right, now we have our uh, mobile device, right? And uh, my app is not running. I have closed the app since the app needs to be on the, uh, should not be on the foreground while receiving a push notification, right? Let's just get into cloud messaging, which is available under the grow option. And uh, I'll just click on send your first message and I'll give a title, hey there. And uh, message text, uh, my first message. Now we are going to be testing on a device, right? So I'll just click on test on device. We need an instance token that we copied. If you remember, we copied a device token from the console of the uh, Visual Studio IDE, right? So I'll just paste that token here and then click on this add button. It got added. If we test it now, we should receive the push notification on our device. Let's just click on text, test and see if we can get that. Wow, we just got this device notification here, right? As you can see on the top notifications bar, I'll just uh, pull it down and you can get the, you can see the message here as well, right? Hey there, my first message as well as the app name and a small uh, message that shows when the message was received, right? So we are, this is how you send a push notification from your Firebase console and then you can uh, receive that notification on your mobile device, guys. First part was the Firebase configuration that I showed that is quite common. The thing where the real stuff starts is the uh, installing this Firebase messaging plugin and then uh, getting the token, pasting the token here to test on a device and then sending the uh, message so that the notification is received on the device, that's it. So uh, now if I just tap on this notification, it will just open up my application. There's nothing fancy in this, right? So what if I need to uh, take the user to a messaging screen, a messaging screen inside my application? Or what if the user has to respond to this message in a particular screen of the application? So in that case, what we can do is we can use the configure option, firebase messaging.configure. There is an option called firebase messaging.configure. And inside that, uh, it has three options on resume, on message and on launch. 
these three are nothing but callbacks okay i'll sh i'll uh, show how to use all these callbacks and then how to configure these um, notifications that you receive in uh, in a future video maybe but in our next video i'll show how to send an automated push notification message automated push notification message involves some logic with the uh, uh, firebase uh, cloud functions as well i have already done this uh, on my channel for ionic i think uh, while showing it on ionic i already done this i'll show this with flutter as well uh, you will need to write a cloud function that will be looking at your firestore uh, messages collection whenever a new message has been added to the messages collection it will automatically take that message and send it as a push notification to all the devices that's it so i'll show how to do that automatically i mean automated message notifications i mean automated push notifications in my next video uh, in this video we just covered the basics right how to send a notification how to receive that notification on your mobile device that's it uh, so yeah guys this is what i wanted to show you guys today uh, hope this video helped you if you really found this helpful kindly hit the thumbs up button uh, if you have any doubts in this kindly drop it in the comment section uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notifications icon so that you don't miss out in, uh, so that you receive notifications uh, whenever I upload a new video. I make around two to three videos every week, guys. So stay tuned uh, to watch more awesome Flutter content. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.